Alrighty guys, welcome back. I hope you've had a good holiday season. I've been able to get out and shoot a little bit more recently, so that's always nice. Today we're going to be talking about these reusable targets made out of stall mats. I've seen someone else already put a video out on this. I can't remember who. If you remember or you know of someone else who already made a video on this, comment it down below so they can uh, get their credit, I guess. But I wanted to try to make some for myself and see how well they worked out. So these mats, I picked them up from Tractor Supply. is a fairly large mat. We could probably make uh, three full-size targets out of it, plus a little bit of extra. I think it was around 30 bucks for this entire sheet of rubber. This is heavy stuff. I was kind of surprised by how hefty these mats are. Uh, so what I did is I just took the mat, I laid my target stand down on there. I didn't have any actual paper targets that were in any good shape. But if I had like a USB-SA target or a reduced C-Zone, I could always just slap that down on this rubber and mark around that to make my outline. Before I started cutting with my jigsaw, I just tossed this 4x4 under there. That's going to keep the blade of the jigsaw from digging down into the dirt and it's going to make it easier for me to cut the rubber because the rubber won't be flopping around so much. This rubber is still pretty tough stuff. It took me a while to get through with the jigsaw. I ended up breaking a blade. I don't have a lot of experience with stall mat, so this may just be the norm and I'm not aware of it, but this mat seems to be made of a lot of small pieces of rubber that are kind of melted together to form the whole sheet. I'm kind of worried that these small pieces of rubber will kind of chip out the back when you shoot through it, or maybe over time they might degrade and fall apart. So if you have the opportunity to get a solid piece of rubber sheet, that might be better for this target making purpose than these stall mats, but we'll go ahead and try these out and see how they do. So the question is, are they worth it? Uh, it costs 30 bucks to get the sheet of rubber. That's, that's a little bit pricey, but you get three targets out of it. So 10 bucks a target. Paper targets, about a dollar a piece. Uh, I think that it might be about an even break thinking about how long I expect these rubber targets to last versus how long a paper target will last before you paste it up and then you put a new paper target up and then you paste the next one up and you put another one up. So I think that this takes more effort obviously than buying a paper target and then just be able to staple it up. You don't have to tape between shots, but you do have to paint it. Painting is easier than taping. It, the decision's up to you. So I, I don't think there's a clear cost savings on this. One thing I do like about these is that it's really easy to see your hits, where your shot placement is from distance, because whatever your bullet size is, there's going to be a ring of black about three times the bullet diameter. I shot this thing with 357, 300 blackout, 38 special, 9mm, 223, 22, 556, and I could see my hits very well with all those rounds. But looking at the backside, there are quite a few hunks taken out of this thing, especially hollow points. It's going to tear this thing up super fast. So FMJ only, and you should get some decent life out of this target. Another benefit is you can leave this thing out in the rain. Uh, no problem. Leaving it out in the rain and I can come and shoot it when I want. It's not going to get all soggy. I don't have to throw up a new target. I can just leave my targets out at my range all year long. And I don't have to worry about tossing up a new target every time I go. So, Anyways, make your own decision. I hope this helped you uh, figure out if you want to make some of these. I enjoyed it. Uh, do I think I'll make more in the future? Do I think I'll buy more of these mats? Probably not. I'm probably going to let these run their course. And I, I doubt that I'll make another set just because of the time it takes you have to put in two to actually build them. But uh, who knows? Maybe I might. 